Abiy Okuda is the state capital of Ogun State in southwest Nigeria. It is situated on the east bank of the Ogun River, near a group of rocky outcrops in a wooded savanna, 77 kilometers 48 miles north of Lagos by railway or 130 kilometers 81 miles by water. As of 2006, Abiy Okuda and the surrounding area had a population of 449,088. Abiy Okuda lies in fertile country of wooded savanna, the surface of which is broken by masses of grey granite. It spreads over an extensive area, being surrounded by mud walls 18 miles in extent. Palm oil, lumber, natural rubber, yams, rice, cassava, maize, cotton, other fruits, and shea butter are the chief articles of trade. It is a key export location for cocoa, palm products, fruit, and cola nuts. Both rice and cotton were introduced by the missionaries in the 1850s and have become integral parts of the economy, along with the dye indigo. Abi Okuda lies below the Alyamo Rock, home to several caves and shrines. The town depends on the Oyan River Dam for its water supply, which is not always dependable. The dam is situated in the Abiy Okuda North Local Government Area of Ogun State in the west of Nigeria, about 20 kilometers northwest of the state capital Abiy Okuda. The dam crosses the Oyan River, a tributary of the Ogun River. Abiy Okuda is the headquarters of the Federal Ogunashan River Basin Authority, which is responsible for development of land and water resources for Lagos, Ogun, and Oyo states. Included in this are irrigation, food processing, and electrification. Local in industries include but not limited to fruit canning plants, plastics, breweries, sawmills, and an aluminum products factory. South of town are the Aero Granite Quarries. Abi Okuda is connected to nearby Lagos by a railway that was completed in 1899, with a length of 77 kilometers 48 miles. Since 2021 there is a standard gauge railway line Lagos Ibadan, which stops at Abiy Okuda. For this a new railway building has been built in Abiy Okuda. Trains to Ibadan leave around 8.30 and 16.30 daily, trains to Lagos around 10 o'clock and 1800 hours. Tickets can be bought at the counter and with cash only. Roads connected to Lagos as well as Ibadan, Ilaro, Shagamo, Isayan, Sango Oda, and Ketau. Chief Saadi first settled Abiy Okuda, meaning literally the underneath of the rock or indirectly refuge among rocks, in 1830 as a place of refuge from slave hunters from Dahomey and Ibadan. The village population scattered over the open country to take refuge among the rocks surrounding the city. Here they formed a free confederacy of many distinct groups, each preserving the traditional customs, religious rites, and the names of their original villages. The original settlers of Abiy Okuda were of the Egba nation, descendants of Esoikoyi chiefs that had followed the first Alake of the Egba when he left Oyo during the reign of an early elephant and joined him to establish the Egba homeland in the Egba forest. Later, when their descendants fled said homeland in the Oyo Empire, which they had previously been subject to and which was now collapsing spectacularly, they began to wander from place to place a state of affairs which continued until they finally discovered Abiy Okuda. Eventually, some members of other Yoruba clans came to the settlement as well. Well, Baptist and Anglican missionaries from Great Britain began to serve the area in the 1840s, in addition to Sierra Leonean Creoles and Brazilian returnees. Because Abiy Okuda was in a key location for the palm oil trade, and because it was the so-called capital of the Egbas, Dahoma soon became hostile. In the 1851 Battle of Abiy Okuda, the Egba defeated King Gizo and the Dahomey incursion. They again beat back the Dahomey military in 1864. Aerial view of Abiy Okuda in 1929. The 1860s also saw problems arise with the Europeans, namely the British in Lagos, which led to the Egba first closing trade routes, followed by the expulsion of missionaries and traders in 1867. Between 1877 and 1893 the Yoruba civil wars occurred, and Abiy Okuda opposed Ibadan, which led the king or Alake of the Egba to sign an alliance with the British governor, Sir Gilbert Carter. This occurred in 1893, which formalized the Egba United Government based in Abiy Okuda which became recognized by the United Kingdom. 
In 1914, the Yegbo lands were incorporated into the colony of Nigeria by the British, with Abi Okuda as the provincial capital. In 1918, an uprising took place, the Adyabi War, which was related to the levying of taxes and the policy of indirect rule by Sir Frederick Lugard, the British Governor-General. This was the only internal threat to British control of Nigeria during the course of the First World War. The Abi Okuda Women's Revolt, led by the Abi Okuda Women's Union AWU, took place in the 1940s. It was a resistance movement against the imposition of unfair taxation by the Nigerian colonial government. In 1976, Abi Okuda became the capital of the newly created Ogun state. Abi Okuda was once surrounded by 18 miles of wall, and remnants of the historic wall still exist today. Ek, the traditional residence of the Alake, along with Centenary Hall, 1930, are both in the Egba Alake's territory. There are secondary and primary schools, and the University of Lagos Abi Okuda campus opened in 1984. This campus specializes in science, agriculture, and technology. This has since been changed to an independent full-fledged tertiary institution, Federal University of Agriculture, Abi Okuda, Funab, in 1988. The Green Legacy Resort is a large resort-slash-hotel built by former President Olusha Gun Obasanjo and investors. The Olusha Gun Obasanjo Presidential Library, OOPL, is also located within the grounds of the resort. The governor's office located at Okmosin is also a notable building. The Federal University of Agriculture, Abi Okuda, Funab, located at Alabeda Road in Abi Okuda is also one of the notable buildings in Abi Okuda and one of the most beautiful public university campus in Nigeria.